and welcome to the Frog Legs Kitchen. I am Mrs. Frog Legs and today we are going to make a great fall treat. We are going to be using everyone's favorite apples. This time of year in Washington we have a plethora of apples so we're going to be using our apples, a little bit of puff pastry or pie dough, and we're going to make a beautiful apple pie rosette. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is take our pie dough. Now you can use store-bought dough, you can use a puff pastry, or you can make it on your own. So whichever is easiest for you. What we've done is we've melted some butter and we're going to brush our dough and our crust with a little bit of butter just so it has a nice light coating on it just like that. Now this is something you can also sort of customize a little bit if you want to add a little vanilla, if you want to put any other flavors on here, you're more than welcome to. We're going to use a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of cardamom just to give it a little bit of extra zing to our mixture. So I'm going to take our cinnamon, I'm sorry, brown sugar, put it in here, and about, I actually like I don't like things that don't just say what they are. And cinnamon, you have to just sort of, it says what it is. So we're gonna add enough cinnamon. Now cinnamon is one of my favorite ingredients because I love to talk to kids about cinnamon because cinnamon is actually comes from the bark of a tree. So it's a really fun favorite ingredient that we talk about all the time at Frog Legs. So another thing you can do if you want to go ahead and show off your cinnamon skills is you can use a microplane and just sort of use that and get some really nice fresh cinnamon right onto your dough like that. Okay, but we're also going to add a little bit of extra nice flavor, a little bit of cardamom. Now you can also add a little nutmeg if you'd like to, vanilla powder, just something that just like whatever is speaking to you. There's also the opportunity, we're gonna keep ours with just our cinnamon and brown sugar mixture, but some people do like to go ahead and use like a marzipan or a cream cheese mixture that you can put on there to really sort of zhuzh it up a little bit. So we're going to just take our cinnamon and go ahead and sprinkle it on. We'll make sure we get all the corners done just like so. Okay, so we've got a nice coating right on our dough, maybe a little bit more. I don't think you can have enough of this. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our apples. So any apple will do. We've gone ahead and sliced up some apples and it's also really fun to, or it's also a really good idea to microwave them or heat them up just a little bit just so they become pliable because when we roll them you'll see having a little bit of loose texture to them makes it a lot easier to roll so we're going to take this so we've got our sliced apples we've got our uh, dusted pie crust and now what we're going to do is we're going to make these into slices so I'm just going to take a small pizza cutter or a knife and make these into slices just like so all right so you can go ahead and do this. And this is something that is a great activity for kids to do because they can pretty much do all of this and really have a lot of fun. So one of the tricks to remember is we're gonna take our apples, but you want to take the skin and have the skin side out. And why you do that, you'll see, is that when you bake it, you'll be able to see the color. So you want sort of a little bit of that color to pop out and look really pretty. So we're just gonna layer our apples like so, just like that, okay? And then we're going to roll them up. Now, you can use this for a snack or dessert. If you want it for a dessert and want something a little bigger, what I have done sometimes is take two of these and make a longer so it comes out to be a more substantial dessert. However, today we're just gonna make it a snack. So we're gonna take this and just roll it up just like that. Just almost like you would a cinnamon roll. All right, so what we come out with is this beautiful looking rosette. Now you can either put this in a muffin pan or on a sheet tray. I'm gonna grab a sheet tray. Oop. The reason I like a sheet tray is that this rosette has a tendency to open up a little bit more. In a muffin pan, it stays contained and it um, has very consistent shapes. But when you put it on a sheet pan, this little thing has a tendency just to sort of open up and reveal itself. So we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of those. And what I'm going to do is show you what the finished product looks like. So this is our fantastic 
beautiful cinnamon rolls. They just came out of the oven a little bit ago and they smell so good. It's just the perfect fall treat. So you can see here that we made some that are a little small for just a bite-sized snack and one that's a little bit bigger that would be beautiful on a nice plate with some salted caramel ice cream. Mm, that sounds really good. And if you really want to doll it up, what we can do is oh, we'll take our duster and we will just put a little bit of powdered sugar and what this does, it just sort of makes it come alive a little bit. So you just wanna take it like this, do a little dusting and it just adds a little added elegance to it. I don't think you can go wrong. So just like that, voila, enjoy.